Hi, I'm Van Phillips, European Tour winner and PGA coach. And in today's lesson, I'm going to give you the option of a pop stroke or a pendulum stroke. Okay, so there's a million different ways to putt, but basically there are two types of stroke, if you like. One's a bit more of a hit, we could call it a pop stroke. The other one's a bit more of a pendulum style, a longer, freer flowing motion. A couple of great examples of both styles there. The pop stroke would be a Brandt Snedeker, quite risky, more of a hitty type action. And the pendulum style, somebody like a Lauren Roberts, um, who, was, who used to be called Boss of the Moss, he was so good at putting, and he had a very smooth pendulum style action. So. I'm not going to get too much into grips because as we know now there are so many different ways to hold the putter but I'm going to touch on it slightly in that if you do decide to be a pop stroker somebody that uses the wrists a little bit more I would advocate that you get a bit more of a split grip okay because when you split the grip and the hands are not acting as much as a unit it's just going to help you to get a bit more active with the wrist so Get the hands spread down the grip a little bit more. It doesn't mean they don't need to be touching. You can see my hands are still touching there, but I've got all eight fingers and two thumbs on the grip. There's no overlapping going on. I've got my grip split, and that's gonna just help me to use that rear wrist a little bit more. So how could I define the strokes a little bit more clearly? Well, the pop stroke would be one where the butt end of the putter doesn't travel a great distance. So because we're using the wrists a little bit more, the butt end here is gonna stay a little bit more fixed. And you're gonna get more movement in the head of the putter. So you're gonna to wanna to feel the putter head moving first away from the ball. And to do that, you can see I'm using quite a bit of wrist action. If I quite literally pull my rear wrist back there into extension, that's gonna be the action that's gonna get that putter head moving quite quickly. And that's something that Brant Snedeker actually advocates that he does. Great drill to help you feel that is to hit putts with one hand, the rear, the rear arm, and that'll just encourage you to start using that wrist a little bit more and you'll start feeling the weight in the head. Now this isn't my preferred method of putting, but I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what a pop stroke should look like. You're gonna see a lot of movement in the head. This is only about a six or seven foot putt. You're gonna see a lot of movement in the head of the putter, not a lot of movement in the butt end. just crept in the left hand side but it felt a little bit uncomfortable to me but it's a method that everybody should try because Snedeker is one of the best putters in the game uh, and obviously it's a valid method so method number two then well quite literally we're going to do the opposite we now want the butt of the putter and the head of the putter to start moving a lot more together so we're going to see a, a bigger overall movement if you like tempo can change here the strokes are generally going to be a bit longer when you use a pendulum so we'd like we tend to see pendulum strokers with slower ry rhythms slower overall rhythms because the stroke is longer the pop strokers tend to be a little bit more brisk they, they need to create energy through club head speed a little bit more because the length of swing is going to be shorter so again a couple of nice distinctions for you there and again when you're a, if you choose the pendulum type method can be advantageous I use the word can there as the operative word there's no set grip as we can see these days that's uh, more successful for putting there's a million different ways to hold it but if you're gonna go for that pendulum method can be a good idea to get a bit more connection between the hands try and make the hands a bit more of a unit I've actually got quite a thick grip on my putter here which helps me to get my hands together I like to overlap now with the forefinger of the lead hand, so I get quite a lot of connection now between the hands, and that's just going to help me to get this feeling that I can move the putter more as one. I don't want the putter head moving more than the grip too much now. I want to feel like the grip and the head are all moving pretty much together. Let's go ahead and have a go at that method.
much more my natural method. I poured that one right into the middle there. It just felt more natural to me, but doesn't mean that that pot method isn't valid. Watch Brant Snedeker's results. If you've watched any of the PGA Tour over the last three or four years, you'll see he's one of the best out there. So try both methods, find out which one works best for you. There's not one way to play this game. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and head over to my website. I say it in all these videos, but there really is my life's work on there. It's gonna help you to be the best golfer that you can be. Thank you.